Hi, in this problem we're going to evaluate the limit as x approaches 4 of this function here. So the first thing we want to do is plug in 4 and see if that works. And if you notice in this problem here, if you plug in 4 on the bottom part, you're going to get 3 minus the square root of 4 plus 5. But that's the same thing as 3 minus the square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3, so 3 minus 3 is 0. So that doesn't work because we'll end up with a 0 on the bottom here. So we have to do something else. So let me show you what that something else is. We have the limit as x approaches 4. And here we have 3x minus 4, square root x plus 5. It's all being divided by, just writing it again, 3 minus the square root of x plus 5. And so the trick is, whenever you have a limit and it's got a square root and it's got a plus or a minus and you can't just compute it like this by plugging in the number, a good strategy to try next is something called rationalizing. So we're going to rationalize. So we're going to take this piece here and we're going to flip the sign. So 3 plus the square root of x plus 5 over 3 plus square root of x plus 5. Just always do that and flip the sign. And notice I wrote it on the top and on the bottom. The reason is we're basically multiplying by 1, right, because this cancels. And so if you're wondering why we're doing this, it's because now we can use a very powerful formula. Recall if you have a minus b times a plus b, that's equal to a squared minus b squared. So in this case, um, we can apply this formula. So let's do that. So this is equal to, or same as, I didn't put equal signs, limit x approaches 4. So in the numerator, I'm really hesitant to do any math. I'm, I'm just going to leave it alone. So 3x <laughs> minus, I haven't done this problem yet. So uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen. And I think we should just maybe leave it alone for now because it looks really intense. So let's just leave it alone. There we go. All right, now we can focus on the bottom. So a here is 3 and b is the square root of x plus 5. So using this formula, we'll square the 3, so 9 minus, and now we're going to square the square root of x plus 5. That's just going to be x plus 5, but it's really important to have parentheses here like this, okay? Because when you use the formula, it'll be 3 squared minus the square root of x plus 5 squared. That's 9 minus x plus 5. You see, so the parentheses are there. All right, let's keep going and see what happens. So this is the limit. As x approaches 4 of, again, I'm just going to leave the numerator untouched, x minus 4, square root of x plus 5. And then we have 3 plus square root of x plus 5, right? Just writing down the top piece one more time. And then on the bottom, we're going to perform the subtraction. We have 9 minus x, and then minus 5, right? Minus 5. All right, I'm, I'm going to go to the side and work on this because I think it might take more than one step to, to get what we want. So I'm just going to switch colors and just come down here or over here. And so we've got 9 minus x minus 5. Let's see if we can clean this up. So this will just be 9 minus 5 is positive 4, right? So it'll be negative x plus 4. Because you combine these and you get 4. Here we have an x minus 4. So what we can do is we can pull out a negative from this like this. This is negative 1 times and then x, right? That way negative 1 times x is negative x and negative 4. That way negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. And so now we can write this as the limit as x approaches 4. And again, the reason we did that is because when we simplify this, we get this, and we want it to be the same as this, right? We want it to be the same as this piece here in yellow so that they cancel. So what we do is we pull out a negative, and so now it will be the same. 
So this is 3, x minus 4, square root x plus 5, parentheses 3 plus square root x plus 5, all being divided by, and on the bottom again we have minus and then x minus 4, just like that. Boom, boom, these go away. So we have the limit as x approaches 4. And we're just left with a negative 1 on the bottom. So you can put it up here in the front if you like. So negative 3 square root x plus 5. And then 3 plus the square root of x plus 5. Really nice. And we're finally at a point where we can just take the 4 and plug it in for all of the x's. And when we do that, that's when we drop the limit sign. So I'm not going to write it. I started to write it. That's bad. So negative 3 square root 4 plus 5. Parentheses 3 plus square root 4 plus 5. So this is equal to negative 3. 4 plus 5 is 9, so we get the square root of 9. And same thing here, 3 plus the square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3, so this is negative 3 times 3. 3 plus 3. That's a lot of 3's. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. 3 plus 3 is 6. We end up with negative 54. Wow. What a problem. It seemed like it took a, a while to do. I don't know how long it's taken us, but um, it seems like a lot of work. Just a lot of writing uh, in this problem. The, the, the numerator is just a bit of a beast, uh, but not, not that difficult once you know how to do it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.